right, and here you can see the culvert. The beavers have done a pretty good job trying to clog that up. I put up barbed wire around it several years ago, and they seem to have mashed that all down with sticks and debris. Luckily, it's still flowing, but you know the reason we got to get this cleaned out is because if they clog it up, this pond could just blow out. The dike could blow out, and that would be a way more expensive repair than we're wanting to make. So it's important for us to stay on top of that and get it cleaned out and not let the beavers clog it up. Put up more barbed wire. I'll show you the outflow pipe next. All right, this is the outflow pipe from that culvert we showed you. I'm gonna try not to die filming this for you. There's a decent flow of water coming out now, but if we get that culvert unclogged, it'll be a lot better. So we're gonna do what we can to make sure that happens. Yeah, we just drove down the hill from the equestrian center. Um, and we've got to go unplug this culvert. This is, uh, well, we'll show you what can happen when beavers come in and want to take over. You can see the erosion here on the corner of our big pond. This actually blew out here, oh, it's probably been 20 years ago. This pond originally had a very small culvert, maybe uh, 16, 18 inch. And now I believe we've got a big four foot culvert, big 48 inch culvert. But it blew out and uh, cost tens of thousands of dollars to repair this. I think this was a whole washed out area. So all this pond, four and a half acre pond just emptied out and um, went right on down into the creek. So they had to come in and repair it. Brett and I are, we've got to cut with the pole saw to get to this culvert, this overflow uh, header. And we're going to start cleaning out the debris around it because we're afraid that, well, the same thing could happen again. There was a cap for this. They, when they put this uh, header in, they had a cap that they made for uh, the top. And I, <laughs> I think the beavers were just laughing at us when we put that on there because it's got, it was graded and it makes it so much easier for them to plug it up when you had that cap on there. Anyway, I'm gonna walk up here and have to shut this off. And start it again. All right, guys, we just made some room with the pole saw, hacked all these bushes back, and then we rolled this grate to where it's lined up with the culvert. Now, our plan is to use this battered John boat that's been run over by tractors three or four times. We're gonna make us a bridge so I can get over there without getting too wet and clear out that culvert. Let's see how it goes. All right, we're gonna see how our redneck ingenuity works here. Either I will stay dry or I will get soaking wet. Time will tell the tale. Well, here we go. It's gonna take time, but we can get this debris out. Thanks, uh, thanks our, our beaver friends. They like to uh, claim the waterways for themselves. Anyway, that's just part of routine maintenance for a pond this size. We'll, we'll get it done, show you uh, how it looks when we're finished. Okay, we got the very end opened up and she's really starting to drain out now. So a lot of this will be cleaned up tonight. We'll probably come back in tomorrow, but look at the debris we're getting out of, uh, of this thing. Actually, we're being careful because I know how dangerous this could be. This 
in the past has almost been up to almost over this levee here. You can see, uh, so that's probably a good two and a half feet or more. And when you've got that much pressure on this header and you unplug it, you're talking about a dangerous situation. I, we've seen that before. It just starts sucking down and going down. I think I've heard of John boats being totally capsized because of the release of pressure. But uh, we're being safe here. We're gonna just slowly but surely get this debris around the perimeter and stay on top of it from here on out. All right, guys, that big log is too heavy for me to grab. I think it's hooked up on the barbed wire, but as you can see, we got this thing flowing pretty damn good again. That is a flowing culvert. I think this will be a happy pond as a result. Take that, beavers. Here's the increased flow we just created. It is flowing, man four times as hard as it was, so this is good. It'll be a happy pond as a result. Here is all the debris I removed out of the culvert. As you can see, the beavers have been mighty busy trying to clog that thing up. But not today, beavers, not today. We got it flowing 100% better than it was. Just gotta get that big log out of there. It's pretty stuck, I couldn't do much with just my hands, so. This is Brett Bass with Good Hope Equestrian and Regenerative Farm. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you like our content. And we'll see you again soon.